right, so I'm gonna get started on doing the oil cooler mounts today. So pretty much I'm gonna be mounting the oil cooler right here. It's kind of why we had to modify my uh, uh, tube chassis there, whatever you want to call it, partial tube chassis, whatever. But uh, yeah, so it's gonna be going over here, and obviously got turbo over here, so it should work out good because I want to get the oil, get the, all the get the oil cooler mounted and then we can start dicking around with the oil lines I'm gonna try and pretty much chop up what I have laying around for AN line and hopefully uh, reduce, reuse, recycle because I'm uh, getting to that point where I'm pretty broke now so yeah, this is the pile of crap we got so let's just get into making this I got some I made up some brackets right here. They're not nothing fancy yet, but I just cut them up the other day. And these are going to be what's getting welded on because they're good and thick. They're that quarter inch angle iron that I chopped into two pieces. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get these brackets looking pretty. Get them probably. Yeah. We'll probably just weld them on and then we'll bolt this thing on. So let's do that. All right, so got it mounted. It's in there. I'll probably eventually do like a weld from here, probably up to like share this hole or something. We'll see, just so that way it's got some support down here so it's not, because that's not ideal. I'll eventually wear something loose and break. That would be not good, so. But uh, next step is I gotta figure out which way the lines and all that stuff's gotta get routed. Um, I need to mount up the um, oil filter housing. Um, so we got this guy. So we got this guy here, and it's pretty much, I'm not sure where I'm gonna mount it quite yet, but it's gonna get mounted somewhere. <laughs> Can confirm. So yeah. We'll figure out where I'm gonna put this and kind of figure out which way he's got to go where. Um, at least this one says in and out, so pretty simple. But uh, yeah, gonna have to crawl under there and see if it says anything on the other one. But yeah, we'll see what I get. All right, so just welded this thing out. Got that done. So it's just mounted in there with some cell tappers. Shouldn't go nowhere. So I could actually add another one if I really wanted to. Um, and then uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and bolt this on, and I'll show it on there. Alright, so pretty much done. We um, just need to pick up a oil filter and some oil. We can put, and obviously, I gotta tighten down some stuff. So it comes out of here. So this red one comes out, goes in to the oil filter, and comes out of the oil filter up into the bottom of the oil cooler. Um, so that's something um, I guess you gotta decide on your own. But mine's going into the bottom, and it'll fill up, and then it goes down, and then it goes back into the uh, relocation thing. So, but uh, yeah, I did some research trying to, like, ideally, this is the most ideal. I mean, obviously, straight up and down is even more ideal, but this is a pretty ideal straight up and down for the fittings. Um, I tried figuring out which one's supposed to go where um from what i found it doesn't care it doesn't matter all too much i don't think but the argument is like if you have it go to the bottom like this when you shut off the car it's going to drain your whole oil cooler back into the pan so it makes it hard to tell the level of your oil so i guess that's an argument um i guess we'll deal with that at a different time um, I guess you can make your line go like up over whatever, so that way it creates a high point. But yeah, and then other, or you can go to the top, but I don't know. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I think right now what I'm going to do is get uh, this guy put back on, shorten it up, put it back on. And then, uh, yeah, and then we'll be pretty much finished for today. And I also got to, I just got a lot of stuff I got to tighten down too, so. But yeah, that's where we're at. Okay. I think I'm done for the day. Put this guy on. Still got to tighten up everything. But I would do like the oil drain and the oil feed on the turbo. But not able to do that today because I don't have... I need a 90 for down there. 
and I'm not sure if I need it up here. I have 490s coming on the way because I thought I was going to need them for those, but I guess I didn't. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Probably add this to the end of that video. Uh, I went ahead and picked up an uh, oil filter. Uh, they wanted me to use a PH8A. I don't like Fram, so usually I use the Wicks, but they don't have any Wicks at my Walmart, so I'm with K&N. Good enough. Um, pretty bad when I spent $12 on this, and I only spent $150 on the motor. That's pretty bad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then just some Valvoline, high mileage. This is kind of, I like Valvoline. No really, no particular reasons for any of these. I mean, Fram, I've heard bad things about, like, they don't do too well. Like, the Fram filters aren't the greatest, where they like to, like, they fail. I don't, I don't like Fram. Do your research, figure out which you like best, but I don't like Fram. So we're doing K&N. So let's uh, throw this thing on there. This is a big-ass fucking oil filter, too. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably pop open this so I can grab some oil so I can rub it on the seal, and then we'll put this thing on. So let's do that.